you asked and now I am showing you. In today's video, we're gonna take a 1,000 foot view of how I organize my entire business on Trello. I've showed you guys a couple of tutorial videos, I've showed you a couple of boards here and there, and now I'm gonna show you how all of the pieces fit together. I can't wait. Hey y'all, I'm Kat and welcome back to my channel. I'm a biz coach and integrator for creatives helping you make dreams and dailies happen. And one of the things that allows me to make dreams and dailies happen both for myself and for women like you is a system called Trello. I love Trello. I'm obsessed with Trello. The fact that it's free just makes it even better. It's an incredibly powerful tool that allows me to streamline and integrate every single piece of my business. And in today's video, I'm gonna flip the screen around and show you exactly how I use Trello to handle client work, launch projects, my weekly schedule, my content calendar, all the things. Before I flip the screen though, I wanna talk a little bit about why I use Trello. I use Trello because, well, number one, it was free. So when I first started using it back, gosh, it was like 2016 when I first started using it, I was pretty new to small business. I'd only been in business a few years and I really wanted to cut cost. And not that you shouldn't cut cost at any season of your business, but when you're newer in business, you really wanna cut cost. So I jumped into using Trello because I wanted a way to streamline my to-dos. I felt like I was constantly like, trying to find the notebook that I wrote that thing down in and like sticky notes were getting lost and everything just felt so scattered. Trello allows me to streamline and simplify. I like to think of Trello like Pinterest for my to-dos. Things are organized in what's called boards, just like Pinterest, and then you put a theme to each board. So whether it's client work, launch planning, quarterly goals, content calendar, my weekly schedule, my coaching clients, whatever it is, it has a board. Trello is also incredibly easy to use once you get the hang of it. I know it might feel overwhelming at first, but you could do it, I promise. Um, and it syncs on all of my devices. So whether I'm on my iPad or I'm on my laptop or I'm on my phone, it syncs with everything. It's also allowed me to scale my business. I have since brought on team members since I started using Trello. We have all of our company policies and procedures on Trello. We also keep track of all of our workflows and systems. So we're able to stay on top of every single thing that we're doing on a regular basis with a remote team. Now I want to flip my screen and show you exactly how all of those boards work together so you can see how I'm utilizing it right now in 2022 to make things happen in the business. Before I do though, I want to remind you guys that I do have an ultimate Trello template bundle available. 11 video trainings, 10 templates built exclusively for small business owners. So if you're getting started with Trello or maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed with Trello so you want like that extra hand to hold, I can be your girl. So click the link below and grab the ultimate Trello template bundle today. Hey y'all, we are deep diving into Trello, my favorite business tool and the tool that I use truly every single day. So what do I use Trello for? Literally everything, <laughs> like all the things in the business live in Trello. My weekly schedule, my content calendar, a biz guidebook, and on that guidebook, I have links to affiliate links, education I own, branding info, team member info, all like the back end of the business. I use Trello for project planning, so launches and quarterly goals. It's also got client work, so coaching, wedding planning, mastermind clients, and I use it for digital products and funnels. My shop, anytime I'm launching a course, freebies, evergreen funnels. I mean, it's truly all encompassing. You can see it's got all the things that live here. And I know mine might look a little bit overwhelming to you, um, especially if you're just getting started, but bear with me. I want you to see how robust this tool really can be. I currently manage three different brands um, within my business. Like I have three brands for the business, a wedding planning company, a conference that I host, and then my own consulting coaching integration agency. Um, and all aspects of those businesses live here on Trello. I also, within our agency, I work in other businesses. So you can see I'm in workspaces for quite a few other businesses because I am working with them. 
all of their businesses, I have been inter- I've integrated them into Trello because it's that powerful. These are businesses that are multi six, some are seven figure businesses, y'all. And we are able to really use Trello to be that robust. And so I don't say that to scare you. I say that to help you see like how awesome it is. And I started with Trello in 2016 when I was truly like a baby business owner, just a few years into starting my business, really didn't have a team at the time. And now I have a team. My husband is on full time. I have two part time employees. And then I'm also working in all of these other businesses. So you can see how Trello has truly scaled with the company. Now, what I, how I have Trello organized is through workspaces. So all of the workspaces live here. And so I can quickly get to my own, I can get to team members and things like that. So we're going to stay right up here in this like kind of chaos world, since these are all of the ones that I am utilizing the most. Um, let's go to um, the KS team. So if you click there, you can see boards and then I'm able to see all of the boards that live under this particular workspace. I want to show you guys this one because if you do have a team, this is a way that you can leverage Trello with a team. All of my team members have their own board, so I can give them projects. We can communicate on their boards or they can jump into my board. I also have that biz guidebook that I mentioned. I have one for our conference brand and then one for my own brand. On the guidebook, I've got um, my branding info, affiliate info, education, all of those things live on that board. It is a template too in that ultimate template Trello bundle that I talked about. The biz guidebook is one of the templates that you get. Um, but I wanted to show how you can really leverage Trello if you have a team by giving your team members each a board. Um, I also love using it with a team for workflows on specific boards. So if I were to jump to like our content workspace and I were to go into that board on every single card, we've got our workflow. So our team knows what they need to do when, and I can quickly check in whenever I need to, to see what's been done, what hasn't been done, and mobilize the team if we're missing something. I love doing this as an integrator on the teams I'm working on too, um, keeping that high level view of the workflow and really being able to help those that are executing every moving piece of the workflow. So if you have a team, this is another way that it could be incredibly helpful for you. Now, if you don't have a team, do not worry. Trello is still a powerful tool for you because right now you're doing all the things. You're wearing all the hats and I want to help you streamline that process. So you can create a workflow just for yourself. So you remember what's been done and what hasn't been done with content. You can create a board for yourself, just like my, um, my own board that allows you to you know, keep up with your weekly to-dos, with what's happening um, in the comings and goings of the business. So it's really, really robust. So how, do, how does all of this work together? Okay, because it is a lot of boards and it's a lot of workspaces and I know that it might seem kind of overwhelming if you're not familiar with it. Um, number one, my My Week board is the hub. This is my like go-to space. I talked about this in the video where I shared um, my My Week Trello templates. I do have two free Trello templates available. Um, we'll link those below with this video. So if you are thinking about jumping into Trello and you want to organize all of your tasks and to-dos in one space, this would be a great board for you. So I have taken one of my own templates and just tweaked it ever so slightly to work for my own business. So my my, my week board is the hub. I go here first every single day. This is where I go. It's literally a bookmark right up here. Um, this is where I go so that I can see what's happening in the business and what are my priority to do's. From here, I can bounce around to other boards depending on what I'm doing. If it's a content day, I'm gonna jump to the content board. If it's a client day, I might jump to my client workspace board um, or one of my client workspaces in particular. Um, but I use that main board to help me see what's happening when and know where I need to jump to. I also um, wanna show you guys, and I jumped the gun a little bit just a minute ago, but I wanna show y'all the client part of it for those of you guys that are service-based. 
So I have tweaked how I organize client processes on Trello ever so slightly. So I actually did a video a couple of months ago where I talked about how I manage multiple client projects on Trello and I shared how I use a workspace. So I, you know, create a workspace. I have template um, boards that I'm utilizing and I would just create a new board. So if I'm working with five clients, I might have seven boards here because two template boards and then the five client boards. Um, that absolutely can work. So if that is where you are at, do that. Um, what I have found in the past um, six weeks has been a better fit is to have actual workspaces for clients. And that's because the nature of what I'm doing with each of my clients has become so much bigger. So for example, if you are a wedding planner or a website designer, or a wedding photographer, and you're kind of doing a one and done project, you know, when it, you know, you know, when you're going to start working together, you know, when the, those deliverables are being sent and like it's done. So it's kind of one board that you can work with. I think you could do this system. You could have a client workspace and then you could have boards for clients. For me, let's click on hope for an example. I'm doing several different things within her business. I help with projects. I help with content calendar. I help with launches. I help with her membership. So it makes more sense for me to create a true workspace just for hope. So on my, my week Trello board, I would know that on Mondays to do it's to work in hopes business. And then I'm going to jump to my hope Taylor workspace and do what I need to do in her business. I hope that helps clarify since I know that is slightly different than what I was utilizing before. Um, but either way, it's still really powerful to see how Trello can hold it all, all of those things for my clients, but then also all of those things for myself, even the little things y'all like when you get an email and you're speaking on a podcast and you need to send over your headshot and your bio, or maybe somebody needs an affiliate link from you. Like all of that stuff lives right here in Trello. I'm not having to bounce around. So if you're just getting started with Trello, um, a, the great thing for you to think about is, um, or like the number one thing I would say to think about is what are, um, what are you doing the most of in your business? I think the very first board you should have is a my week board. So it would be creating some sort of my week. And again, mine is like a custom, like I've customized this, um, based on what I, um, based on my, my week Trello templates. But if we go down here to my, to like one of the my week templates. This is a great first board to start with because it gives you a, a way to start to test out Trello with your overall to do's and tasks. And then you can get even deeper with it. Then you can say, all right, let's start with my content calendar. Okay. Let's start with a client project. Okay. Let's do the biz guidebook and really organize the back end of the business. And you can start to add templates um, or add these boards as needed. Um, and I do have that ultimate Trello template bundle that comes with 10. So that would have a large array readily available for you if you wanted to really start to onboard your whole business into Trello soon. Well, I can't wait to hear what you think. You have to let me know what specific questions you have about Trello now that you've seen a little bit more details around how I organize it all. It all, all things live inside of Trello. So leave me a comment if you have some specific questions and I would love to record some videos for you guys around those questions. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.